is that this is a legacy company. It's been around for a long time. So people generally don't think of IBM as a growth stock because it's not. It's not a growth stock anymore. It's just an old name. They have an established business, but they're not growing in leaps and bounds. But it looks like their uh, revenue was up 8%. Um, they're, they're diversifying their business more into the cloud. Um, so I think Microsoft did the same thing, by the way. Microsoft did the exact same thing years ago. They diversified their business away from hard software that, you know, that, that they were, you know, they, they would make windows and you, you know, send it to people in, in a disc or whatever back then. Eventually, Microsoft realized that if, if they're going to grow their business, they need to get into the cloud and they need to move more in that direction, which worked out brilliantly for Microsoft. They're their stock value, if you look at it over a 20 year period, I mean, it's just like a rocket, you know, what happened. But for before that time, post 1999 or so, for about 10 years, you couldn't see any growth in Microsoft. So IBM is not doing nearly as well. IBM is still kind of stuck in its core business, and they're starting to realize they need to diversify out of that. So, numbers wise, even though the earnings were better than expected, we do have to keep this in mind. If we look at IBM's earnings history over time, 2021, they basically came in exactly as expected. 2020, a little better than expected. But most years, IBM is meeting expectations. And for 2022, basically expectations are that earnings are going to be exactly the same for 2022 as they were in 2021. And then 2023 is expected to have a slight improvement. So we're not really seeing anything here that we should be that impressed with, to be honest. Um, yes, they beat the estimate. This last earnings, uh, the the estimate was $1.34. They came in at $1.40. For most stocks, that wouldn't be that big of a deal. But for IBM, because it's so consistent, this is actually a fairly good uh, metric. So it's possible, it's possible that IBM may have some tricks up their sleeve that could really grow the company tremendously. But when we look at all the all the numbers, um, the growth potential for this stock is limited. Maybe another 20, well, maybe another, I don't know, maybe another 15 to $30 a share higher is possible. And for a legacy stock, that's pretty good if they can pull that off. But what the software is telling us is, is it's mostly all yellow. Um, the valuation is the only part that's not looking so good. We're actually in the red on that, meaning that currently the stock's price to cash flow, price to sales, et cetera, they're in the, the higher end of the range. So even though this earnings came out pretty good um, for IBM, my guess is that this rally is probably going to be short-lived based on these other metrics. If we saw a much more um, profitable fundamental picture on this stock, I would say opposite. I would say maybe this is our chance to catch IBM on some momentum. So I do think IBM is going to stay up. Um, I don't think it's going to collapse or anything like that. But this rally that we're seeing right now, I do fear that if you're buying into it now, you're probably buying right at the high or near the high. Um, I don't. I didn't see anything in their earnings report that suggests that we should expect anything massively good from IBM going forward. But it's worth keeping on the radar because if we notice that they're efforts are creating more revenue uh we're seeing these numbers turn more green then in that case all right maybe they're on to something maybe now we should invest but until then the system is basically saying be cautious this doesn't look like a blockbuster but a lot of people were talking about it and that's the reason i brought it up because this is what the software is great for to help us avoid jumping on the bandwagon on something that may not have anywhere to go